Hey y'all, Zond here for Jubilation Julie. Someone mentioned that I should probably, well, introduce myself during these videos. So, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Today, we'll be covering the protagonist of Delta Room, Chris. However, before we can do that, there are spoilers ahead for the chapter 1 of Delta Room. As Toby Fox's work is better experienced going in blind, I'm going to give a quick Spoiler-free version of this jubilation June. Deltarune is good. The protagonist is non-binary, and it's not a big deal. However, it is pivotal to the message of the game. <laughs> Alright, anyone left? Yeah? Great. So, the rest of us have played Deltarune? Awesome, let's begin. So, our POV character Chris is non-binary. Every character in the game uses they them pronouns for them, and they themselves are dressed in an ambiguous way. Toby Fox, the creator of the game, has also confirmed that they are non-binary. Do you think we can get Chris a sip? Yeah, producers, oh, can, sure. we, can we get Chris a sip? They probably it's, are thirsty. It's been a long stream. Oh, They're very geez. thirsty. And I don't think that sink works. There oh, we go. Great. Oh, good. Chris, Chris, can you... Oh no, it's just out of reach. Out Chris! Of reach. Chris! Uh, Chris is looking pretty so cruel. Chris, please hang in there. Throughout the journey they undertake, Chris experiences hardship and friendship. But something more important as well. We the players choose nothing for them outside of combat actions. Consider the opening. While it's a bit heavy-handed, it overtly tells us, via the entity we connect with, that we don't get to choose who we are in this world. We don't get to make these choices for them. Chris is Chris, and Chris is non-binary. It removes the choice from us, and not in a neglectful way like how a game developer might assume only boys play their games and leave out female characters as an option, or how a game writer might need a character to be specifically female to work in their story. Deltarune removes the choice because it's not ours to make. Chris gets to choose who Chris is. And I think that's a powerful stance for us in the LGBTQ plus community to remember. No one gets to make these choices for you. You choose who you are. You also don't get to choose for others. <laughs> See y'all next time for Jubilation June. Until then, be safe. And the places that you know seem like fantasy. There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth, the promises.